Welcome to the Idensi ZK Teco iClock 560 User and Registration Guide. In this video we will show you how to clock in and out as you start and finish work. Then for the administrator we will show you how to register an employee's fingerprint and RFID card. Part 1. Employee's User Guide. To clock in and out on the iClock 560, Place one of your registered fingers as firmly and as flat as you can. You need to give the sensor as much of your fingerprint as you can. Please ensure that your finger is clean from any grease or dirt, as this could impact the readability of your fingerprint and could lead to it not being recognized. When your fingerprint is accepted, a green light to the right of the screen will light up and the device will let out two beeps. This applies to both clocking in and out. At the same time, the screen displays a circle with a tick and next to this, it will show the employee ID number. An unrecognized fingerprint will be shown by a red light and a red cross on the screen. If you get this, please try again until you get the green light and confirmed reading. Part two, how to register fingerprints and RFID cards. The basic controls. The basic controls of the device are as follows. You will see above the fingerprint reader, there are up, down, left, right arrows, along with an OK button in the center. These are for navigating around the menus and selecting options. On the main keypad, above the power button, there is a back arrow. This works as a delete. How to register an employee's fingerprint. In order to clock in and out, the employee will need to register a fingerprint against their unique user ID. To add a new user, firstly log into the menu by pressing the M key, then navigate to User Management and select New User. Firstly enter the user ID of the employee. It needs to be numerical only, no letters, and unique to the employee. We recommend using their payroll number. You do not have to enter their name here. After entering their ID, ensure that their role is set to User. Before the employee places their fingerprint on the sensor, ensure that their finger is clean and dry. They should try to cover as much as the sensor window with their fingerprint as they can, so make sure they don't press it like a button. Ask them to place their finger flat on the sensor and take it off when prompted to do so. Do this twice more when prompted. The device will state if the fingerprint registration has been successful. You can then add a second fingerprint for that person if required we recommend you doing this. You can also set up an RFID card or tag here by using the arrow keys and navigating down and selecting that option. Once you've selected the badge number option, hold your RFID card or tag over the iClock 560 card reader. It will then register that RFID or tag against the employee. Simply press the escape button once this is done and you will save and enroll the user. For more information, please contact us at Idensi on 01252 727 103 or find out more via our website www.idensi.com.